All right, fresh snow on the ground, breaking into the sunshine, <clears throat> which reminds me of we've got just a week and a half before chicks arrive. So time to get some more materials for the meat chicken tractor. over plans for months and months on the chicken tractor to build <clears throat> which one do we just reverse engineer this from something or pick a plan I know Joel Salatin's got plans John, uh, John Zaskovich has got plans and that's ultimately after looking over the available options and the, you know the factors that we're considering we went with the John Zaskovich uh, process definitely pick up his book um, I'm sure that you could reverse engineer it, but you know, the guy has put together um, this book. He's run it out by the numbers, everything down, every each part and piece. Um, and that's, you know, I think the book is like nine bucks, eight, eight ninety five. dollars um, Well worth the investment and definitely appreciation for his time putting it together. Thanks, John Siskovich. Um, now we're gonna go pick up the pieces. Everything's picked up, leaving the Grange Co-op. Got to get to a session here. <laughs> so, I don't have time to get working on construction here today, but chunk out some time to at least get pieces in place. Breakfast coming. Oh, God. That's the word. Okay, tools for the trade. We've got a basket full of gear as described in the book. The book. All kinds of parts and pieces to put to get to get uh, to putting together. Some cloth, hardware cloth, chicken wire, the wood that's required. Pipe bender. Get after it.
Okay, so now all the cuts are done. Well, all the dimensional cuts, now we're gonna do some of the half lap and then we'll start putting things together. So that was some of the some of the challenges that we're gonna do getting these back in, this back end on before we set the front end into place. So we've kind of separated the pieces a little bit. They're gonna go on the front door. Uh, there's just enough question in some of the design uh, setup. We want to make sure we do this right. So we're gonna make sure we can mount things directly to you know the three dimensional space. And this is the known in the back. Something that people talk about quite a bit as they're setting these up is there's no directions explicitly if you want to put this, these interior verticals, these end piece verticals on the inside or outside. What most people are saying because of the netting, you want to put them on the inside so you don't have to go around this you know thing bulging out. So you can actually just go you know flat to flat. So this is a chicken tractor for the meat birds. It'll hold up to 30 birds. Okay, one, one oversight. This should be flush with the door that we're going to put on. So what we need to do with this piece is flip it, um, you know, 180 degrees like this. Now this will mount flush all the way down. What do you think, girl? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the question well, next is going to be how to mount the top frame of the door. I guess, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't show this part in the book. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to have to. It on the outside. On the outside? Oh. No, is that the outside? That's the outside of the door, though. Wait, no, it shows it on top. Come on over. You wanted to see what this is for. This? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. It is like this. And then it has you, cross you put beams. a cross beam in. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Wait a second. No. Well, that's for the outer door, probably. Yeah, like the cross yeah. beams are on the actual door, like the part that opens. Right. That's easy. This is a big deal. This time might be a bit more difficult. That's good. together. All right, well, this is the wooden section of the chicken tractor. Well, Next, we we've got think... to work on pipe bending to put the hoops up. That's next, but wood is done. All 
That's interesting if, as you get it to a different 30. That will bend this. And a dual. Okay, and then 65. And let's go ahead and measure the center uh. line just so we, so we know it. That's cool. There. So, it's a, it's a tent shape. Three marks. Center, oh. five inches this way, five inches that way. Oh, okay. Here it goes. I'd call that 90. Yep. <laughs> so these are the poles. You got five of them. And it's pretty awesome. We're gonna get to uh, making the jig now. Pipe stands up in the air up while the other rests the on the ground. I put my pipe bender on the end that is resting on the ground and bend my 45 degree angle in toward the 90 degree angle so that they are lined up. I then rotate the piece of conduit and do the other side so it matches. It's so. gonna automatically give me a five inch. I'm rolling it. I believe so. We just read. And to 45. And uh, now we're, we're, we're trying to make it to, fit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Measurements aren't exactly lined up. Well, we'll just do the rest. And then bendy bendy. <laughs> bendy bendy. bendy. Take bendy, notes bendy. so that you don't have to do it every single time. Yeah. Bend this a little tighter with the, with the pipe bender. Hmm. Alright, punched. So the punched. lesson in this one is go with the tools. Oh. I bent it a bit too. Yeah. Next one. Hmm. Move. One down. Yeah, it's closer, but. 58 to go. 50. Very funny. Last pull. The thing is, that's her. That bit is. Batteries are almost done. Yeah. And that bit is done. Sure. Thank, uh, oh, all right, so uh, we're so like turning that. the end of this into a angle, 45 degree angle, just so that when it slides along the ground, it uh, doesn't dig in with these corners here. These corners. Here. So we're. Because this, this is different. So we're just uh, unwiring the, the chicken wire, <laughs> um, and then we're going to get to putting it on. Here, chicken wire is going to go on here, and then the hardware cloth is going to go down here. Unraveling. Okay. Stuff that wants to be in a ball, well, in a roll. Um. I think if I go on, it's here. Yeah, hand it to you. Pass the roll over. Yeah. Like that. And let's do it the way that it already wants to bend and put mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? yeah.
Okay, so we are doing the front next to the door, and I'll show you what that looks like. We really do want the curtain. Putting the chicken wire here, and Ugh. Liam is working on it yes. over here. Yeah. We need to staple it in. Eventually, we will get too. some so on here. As we walk in. On this door. Yeah. Did so. you want to staple it against uh, that? Yeah, inside. That'd be better. Yeah. And just barely in. in it's going pretty well. No, okay. My point is... Stapling the chicken wire. Get it in or out? Out. I'm gonna give it a bit more, bit more room. I don't want to crack this by. Mm -hmm. The bigger bit um, can't fit in that drill, so we have to use a smaller one. Twist it around. We did it. Yay! <laughs> That's where the wheel is going to be. Yeah, we want it to be at an angle so it doesn't work its way out. It'll it'll work its way up. So that was a pro tip we've seen from other um, YouTubers. So that, that trick is something that I, I think I saw from Sow the Land. Um, those guys were recommending that we do this slightly down angle so the wheel is pushed onto the system rather than off. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going up to the pottery barn to get the wheels for the chicken tractor. Yeah. So it can move. Put the light on. Oh, that's the wrong light. Switch. We go. Oh. Right there. Just gotta find it. This place is pretty crammed with stuff. One, two. All right. Got the wheels. Head out. Just a little hard to carry when you're just getting them and holding the camera. So, getting down to where this stuff is. <laughs> this stuff. The chicken tractor is being built. Yeah. yeah. Pretty rad. Okay, so as this is designed, and I must have done something wrong, maybe if I went all the way to the back here, then I could fit. I'm supposed to get eight inch steel wheels, which I did, but these aren't, there's no way that's gonna fit with the, the gap there. I bet if I came just an inch further back that this would work. So I've done this down angle, as you can see. I think if I do the down angle out here, not so crazy as I've done this one, maybe a little, or maybe even crazier, um, crazy down angle. Then I can put the wheels on the outside and since I'm not going, you know, next to other chicken tractors. It's not like I've got 12 of these or anything like Joe, uh, John uh, Siskovich. Um, I should be good to go. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna go to the outside at a down angle. After dad's screwing on the nut after the two washers. Mm -hmm. I can put this on to the outside. Unwrapping the wheels. <laughs> I see. I need to film this. I need to film this. No, no, no. no. Look, you have to be able to help me. I'm, I'm not so, gonna help you. Well, no. All, all you gonna do is hold the roll. <laughs> She's so scared. He's not gonna rip your brains out, Lily. No, but it could light my hair on fire. No, it really couldn't. But you gotta hold it still. I'm Lily. holding it.
Next morning, we're gonna get started. Uh, dogs have been fed, goats are getting fed, checked in on watered. Um, a few more steps on the chicken tractor to completion. Uh, just got too dark last night to finish up. It's kind of a long, long day with other projects. So didn't get to the unboxing of state, uh, my new state uh, bicycle company gravel bike. So hopefully we'll get to that. Well, the plan is to get to that today. But, heading on down, <laughs> walking down the eggling, eggling, chicken coop, chicken run, down to the barn. Let's see the progress here. All right, well, this is the John Siskovich designed or styled chicken tractor. This is the progress from yesterday. We've got the door and power inside. All right, so the plans, as you can see, call for, it's kind of interesting, I can walk right through it. Plans call for minimizing materials. So because this is gonna have tarp, tarp over the top, <clears throat> this section actually won't be exposed because uh, the tarp will come to about uh, about here or so. I think we're going to end up uh, putting another run of chicken wire over this just to be sure. Might as well. Uh, we've got some remainder in the barn, so we'll probably do that um, first thing and then you know just wire that in. Because uh, quick tip, the way these plans are, the spacing for these two beams uh, will fit, or you know these two. Uh, pipes will fit a standard four foot roll, you know, end to end here. I won't give you the complete dimensions of, of everything, but that, that'll work there. <clears throat> Another tip, when we were rolling the, uh, rolling the, the bends here, or bending the pipe, uh, according to the book, there's a discrepancy between the book and our actual pipe um, bender. The book says to put it the star right at the, or the arrow right at the mark and it will naturally give you a five inch um, you know, bend and it will naturally give you a max of 90 degrees. With our pipe bender, that was a little inaccurate. And so I should have measured to the pipe, to the tool itself, not to the instructions in the book. Because of course that worked for his particular pipe bender, didn't work for the pipe bender that we had, you know, fresh from the store at, uh, at Lowe's. So when we did the measurement, you'll see, actually I'll walk around the front here. When we did the measurement as the book described and said, you know, just put it here, it's gonna bring it to, to center if you're doing a 90 degree bend. What it did was give us, uh, as you can see, the, the center of the door and the center of the height there, the apex are not directly in line. Not a big problem. Chickens won't care. Uh, they'll never be up here. Doesn't matter for the heights of the building. It might, uh, yeah, it wouldn't matter for the height. It just has slid the apex over slightly. So we just made sure to put all those same bends. We, we bent them all the same way, even when we knew from the first bend that, okay, this isn't quite gonna be accurate to a straight center of the, of the five foot of, you know, it's a 10 foot. These are, okay, I'll say that. These are 10 foot, um, um, you know, metal pipes. Uh, didn't quite work out, but it does work out overall. We did them all the same way, made them all the same side. Works just fine. All right, so the last step, we're just adjusting the pull rope to the proper height so that you can lift with your legs, not your back, and not make so much room that all the chickens come out the side once you, once you get the lift. So that's the, that's the length we're going with. And then Liam, if you maybe show, kind of, we also did a clip so that when we let chickens free range, when and if, we can just unclip it, put the other section up on the chicken coop, 
so it's not getting pooped on. Nice and tidy. Uh, the other piece that we noticed is we had this gap here at the apex, so we just put in a trim board, and there she is, looking smart. <clears throat> all right, zipped up all these pieces. I guess one other piece is since we did the center bit of chicken wire uh, that goes end to end, you still get some saggy parts here in the middle. So we want to just kind of tidy those up so that when you're inside, you're not you know running into that, and it looks definitely a little cleaner. There she is, finished John Siskovich style um, chicken tractor. All the way around you, around Go a little wide. Now we're getting the chicken tractor into position, so we're having to take kind of this big drop, which is good because that's a big terrain change. She handles it just fine. Okay, so this is the starting location of the chicken tractor. Uh, ready to start gridding, gridding this field. Now we, we definitely want to uh, have crops in this section and we've got a ways to go this this um, hundred years ago was a hay field uh, Beyond that something else just wild space oh, Sorry 120 years ago was a hay farm um, So there's not a ton and this gets really hard packed So we're gonna start working chickens in this area adding some nutrients to this soil uh, low expectations for any kind of crop this year by any means. So we're just going to begin the process of giving nutrients uh, into this field and then um, strong hopes of eventually having a solid uh, crop. This is roughly about a third of an acre in this, in this uh, plowed space. So a lot of room for farming, just not yet. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe, press that button for more notifications, and we'd love to see you watching more of our videos. So go back, look into the archives, check them all out. We've got all kinds of things from the kitchen at Palmer's Progress to all, all sorts of things in the Adventure Archives. Look forward to seeing you on our channel. Once again, please subscribe, share. See you soon. from State Bicycle Co. is this gravel bike. Very excited to get this unboxed.